having a team in business is so important. Business really is a team sport. Entrepreneurship, it's a team sport, right? You don't you don't move forward without some help and without people who have more experience and more knowledge than you filling in the gaps in your knowledge and your understanding, right? And so, um, you know, again, I said it at the beginning, but I'm going to repeat it because I think it's it's important. And you may have heard this before. If you haven't, you'll probably hear it at some point down the line. But the biggest risks are the the things that we don't know, we don't know, right? So the things that we have no clue, right? And and I like to, um, for me, I like to uh, equate this or think about this in terms of using Google, right? Um, and Google's a great tool for being able to, you know, find information. It's anything that you could ever want to know is on Google. But if you don't ask Google the right question, Google's not going to give you the right answer, right? If you don't know the right question to ask, then you're not going to be able to get the answer out of Google that you're looking for. And I mean, even the same thing with, with AI, right? If you're using chat GPT, if you don't put in the right prompt, um, the information that you're getting back from that AI, from that machine is not going to be useful to you because it's not giving you the information that really fits your circumstances. And so you want to make sure that you find professionals in all different areas um, who really fit in with your team, fit in with you know what you're trying to do and, and are able to help you advance and fill in those gaps in your knowledge. Um, and specifically, um, you want to build a, a team of professionals, um, you know, who are knowledgeable, who will warn you about future challenges that you haven't considered, and really just help you understand how you want to be prepared for them, right? And so when we think about what does that look like, what qualities do we want to have in a professional that we're adding to our team, um, specifically when we talk about the legal aspect of things, right? Um, what does what is having a, a lawyer on our team or a legal professional on our team who can help guide us around some of those legal issues? You know, what qualities do we want to see? Um, we want someone who is knowledgeable. I think first and foremost, right? We want someone um, who knows what they're talking about. We want someone who understands and 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 can understands where we're at, generally speaking, um, and can speak to that, right? Who can point out the things that we might be missing because they've got the experience of having, you know, been down that road before, either on their own or with other folks, right? Number two, we want someone who listens. Right. We want someone who understands that a one size fits all approach does not work. OK, everybody's got a specific set of circumstances um, that you've got to work with. And so coming up with a solution or coming up with a strategy that fits uh, for someone, for one person is not that strategy is not necessarily going to fit for another person. And so you want someone who listens, who's going to take the time to understand your goals, understand your needs, also understand the way that you like to work and is who's going to be able to adapt to that. Going right along with listening, we want someone who can communicate, right? And so we want someone specifically in, in the legal context, when we're talking about uh, complex, perhaps complex legal concepts, someone who can take those concepts, break them down, make them simple and plain, and help us really understand what it is that we're trying to do and trying to accomplish. Um, and ultimately, at the end of the day, who's going to educate us and make us a better CEO. All right. And last but not least, last but not least, affordable. All right. And, and just in terms of somebody who we can afford, it's great to be able to say, I've got the biggest law firm on my team, but if you can only afford two hours worth of work from them um, because they charge $600 an hour, that's not going to do you a whole lot of good, right? Um, in terms of the things that you need to get done. And so uh, making sure that it's someone who has options that fit within your budget um, and that might not, that might, you know, look different ways for different people, right? But um, just someone who's able to work within our budget and help us find solutions within that, right? And so, oh, uh, well, uh, look at that. Um, so knowledgeable, someone who listens, someone who communicates and is affordable. Um, a little joke here, obviously, you know, Dylon, 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 and Dylon. Um, but, <laughs> but um, you know, those are the things that you want to look for in, in an attorney or any professional who you're going to be working with.